So this is weird. I was unable to go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just now like getting myself adjusted. I um, was unable to go live my typical way. So there's no status here with my Melissa's musing. Hmm, hold on. This is very interesting. Can you guys see me? Hmm. I'm very confused. Well, if you join on, please let me know that you're here. Um, the way that I just had to go live was like via the story up top. It did not allow me to do it the way it typically does where I'm able to create a status. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but that being said, um, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. So if I sound stuffy, that is why. I'm still coming at you with a lot of energy though. I'm sourcing energy today because I have a lot on my to-do list and I'm cranking through things. Um, but my musing today is on choices and how everything in our life is a choice. And I really wish that I had been able to create my caption because um, I feel like that's probably what would draw people on in here versus me just being live. But anyways, today's musing is on choices. And this past week I was given the beautiful opportunity to decide on a choice on how I was or, or to choose how I was going to react to something before I was given the opportunity to have that reaction come up. So what happened was I have this hard drive and this hard drive is like my life. Everything that has ever been a creation of Melissa, whether it be a photo or a document or a Photoshop, um, it goes on this hard drive. This is like my master, my master, master hard drive, the one that all the others back up to. And I have a very consistent and regiment, regimented schedule where I back everything up to this hard drive on a weekly basis. And then about every six months or so, I back it up to my, like my backup hard drive. Well, I'm a few months behind in that backup. The last time I did like a master backup of this hard drive was January of this year. And the other day I went to plug it in for its weekly backup. And I plugged it in and it made this like clicking noise. It was like click, 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 and nothing popped up. And literally, I kid you not, I thought I was going to have a shit my pants moment. <laughs> I tell John that's called the oh shit feeling. I literally was like, oh no, what is this noise? And I immediately saw like my life flash before my eyes and everything that I've done and created and saved in the last year disappear instantaneously in like the blink of an eye. And I was like, shit. And I was like, okay, well don't freak out. You can take it to a computer store. <sighs> Sigh of relief, right? So I brought it to this computer repair store. I um, you know, agree to the cost, which is extremely expensive for data, <laughs> for trying to, um, recover data. And basically I'm like, I, I am driving myself home and I'm thinking about myself. Oh, like, I'm just thinking, I hope they can find like, and save all of my data. I hope that's what happens. I hope, um, you know, like, hopefully they'll be able to source it all and I'll be able to get it all back and blah, blah. And I'm frantically thinking all of these things in my head. And what pops into my head is very realistically, there is a very good chance that this hard drive won't rejuvenate itself, right? That even though I'm going to one of the best computer repair and hard drive repair shops in San Diego, there is a very good chance that they are not going to be able to source my data. And I thought to myself, Ooh, I'm going to have like three days to literally choose my reaction because when I pick up the phone call for them in two or three days, when they've assessed what's going on, they're going to tell me one of two things that they were able to source my data or that it's completely fried and they were unable to find anything off of my hard drive. So I decided to choose my reaction before I was given that news. And I chose that if it was like accessible and all of my files were there, I was going to be joyously happy and instill new and rigorous backup practices that this would never be an issue ever again. <laughs> that I would be backing it up 
in a much more frequent manner to my master hard drive. And then I thought, if it's bad news and I get the notification when they call me and they give me the heads up that I've lost all my data and they can't access anything, what is my reaction going to be then? And I decided and made a conscious choice that if that were to happen, I would give myself 15 minutes to cry and like completely lose my shit. And initially I had been thinking like, oh, five minutes to cry. And then I was literally thinking to myself, like, you're not going to be over a hard drive, like uh, frying over a hard drive in five minutes. Like that's a totally unrealistic expectation to have for yourself, Melissa. That is really an unreasonable choice. <laughs> you're not leaving yourself much morning time. And I agreed to, with myself, I set the expectation with myself that if I were to receive the bad news, I would give myself 15 minutes to completely lose my shit, be really upset about it, and then move on with my time and my day. So, fast forward, three days goes by. They call me and they're like, oh my goodness, we were able to find your data, this is so exciting, ah. And I was like, ah, like literally, that's my version of the, um, <laughs> that's my version of the Lion King. That's how I felt like. I wanted to hold the hard drive over my hair, do ha head, do a victory dance. I was like, oh, this is going to be amazing when I pick it up. So I picked it up, get home, plug it in. And I start to like realize within about five minutes that it's not my hard drive, <laughs> which is like very scary. Side note, I start looking through all of these documents and photos and I like, and I'm like, have I ever been here? It's like, did I go here and forget that I took these pictures? And I'm like having these weird moments. Like, did I actually take these photos? And then I realize when I stumble across some very personal information and videos, <laughs> very personal videos, I was like, oh shit, this is not my hard drive. So I called the computer company back and I was like, hey, big malfunction. Don't know if you realize, but you gave me somebody else's hard drive. And they were like, oh my God, this has literally never happened. Blah, 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 blah. I bring in my hard drive along with the one with all the sourced information and I'm like, this is so weird. Like, how is this even happening to me? And later that afternoon I get a phone call and he's like, hey, this is very bizarre. While you had the hard drive for several hours today and we're looking and seeing if it was yours, did you happen to dro drop the one that you brought in? It's making this very weird clicking noise. And I was like, uh, no, excuse me. Like the reason I brought my hard drive there in the first place was because of this horrible click of death that I Googled. I literally Googled it and it was like, are you experiencing a hard drive's click of death? And I was like, no, <laughs> never Google something if you're experiencing health issues or technology issues, apparently. So anyways, he calls me later that afternoon and he's like, did you drop it when you had it earlier today? It's very bizarre because now it's making this clicking noise and we can't get any of your files opened. And my heart dropped. And I was like, no, but it's always had a clicking noise. Like that's the whole reason I brought it into you. Could you have looked at somebody else's hard drive initially, rejoiced in all the gloriousness, thinking that you had been able to save my files and then it turns out that you hadn't ever looked at my hard drive in the first place because I got somebody else's hard drive of files. And he was like, yes, I think that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Cue the 15 minutes of waterworks. <laughs> Meltdown for 15 minutes. And then I wiped myself down. I washed off my face and I got back to my shit. And I thought to myself, like, wow, how proud I was of how I handled that reaction and, and the choice that I made consciously and prior to having to deal with it in order to have like a productive day. Because if I hadn't made that conscious choice to only give myself 15 minutes of morning time over all of my files, who knows, I might be still weeping. I might, <laughs> I might feel that sad that I would still be weeping about all of my lost files. But that's not what happened. And instead I made a conscious choice to allow myself X amount of time to really feel out and mourn over the fact that yes, that's like a huge loss, real big bummer, like the worst case scenario for a hard drive, let me tell you, like literally worst case scenario for a hard drive, and it's going to be okay, and I get to move on, and when I'm 90, looking at all of the photos, I'll probably be so happy for all the others that I have saved that I won't miss the nine months of photos from January until now. It is what it is. 
But I would not have had that reaction if I didn't possess the emotional intelligence that I do now compared to just several years ago or even just a few months ago. I'm always learning and growing and evaluating how I show up, what I could be doing better, how I could be saving myself more time, how I could be more intentional. All of these things are continually a work in progress and I hope my story today inspires you guys even though I'm a little bit under the weather. Thank you for bearing with me and watching with me today as I explained to you the really <laughs> wonderful opportunity I had recently of getting to make a choice through my reactions um, and, and being conscious about that decision and being really intentional about it and being rigorous as well. I was happy to have spent 15 minutes on it instead of like having a 15 hour meltdown on such a big loss. So hope that inspires you. Also, side note to all of you out there in the interwebs, back up your files. <laughs> and if anyone has a really great suggestion for an iCloud situation, I will also be backing up my photos and files now to an iCloud and would love your suggestion if you have any as to like a great platform. Thanks peeps. Hope this message comes to you at the perfect time. Love you.